Hey guys, it's Stephanie. So today I've got a fun video for you guys. I've got my apartment decor haul. These are just some things that I have been collecting throughout the summer to go into my apartment next year at school. Um, I've just got this giant pile in the basement, so hopefully this video isn't too long. But um, yeah, we'll just get right into some of the pieces that I picked up. And I'm filming in the basement today because that's where my giant pile of um, back to college stuff is. So hopefully there aren't any weird noises. But anyways, let's get right into it. So let's start with some of the things that I picked up from Target. So the first thing that I got is this wall art. And it says, Adventure Awaits. And it is so cute. I love it. It's got like a map background and then um, the letters are just the cutest font. I love this. And then this is wood. And I think this is going to look so great on my gallery wall that I'm planning. Um, I just love the, the travel theme kind of thing. So I thought that this was really cute. And it was on clearance so I could not pass this up. Had to get this. And that was $10. Next, I just got some coasters. And these are just um, the Threshold brand. These are a four-pack. And they are just like a woven um, material. Um, and they were on clearance for $2. So I thought this was a great deal. I don't have any coasters. And I thought that they would make me seem a little bit more grown up as I'm going into my senior year. Um, so I thought that these would be nice um, either on my desk, you know, for my coffee or tea while I'm working. So I thought that these were um, a good deal, so I grabbed these. Okay, the next thing that I got from Target is this bottle. So it's a glass bottle, and it's just got a cute color um, blue on the cap. And this was from the dollar spot, so this was a dollar. And I got this because... We don't um, have like that water that comes out of your fridge, um, so it's already cold, so we have to do water from the sink. And because I share an apartment with four other girls, three other girls, so there's four of us total, um, we have a lot of stuff in the freezer, so we don't have a lot of, we almost never have ice cube trays filled because we just don't have room for the ice cube trays just because there's so much food in there. So I thought this would be good just to fill up with water and then just keep it in the fridge. Um, so that I could have cold water and that, I think that would help me drink more water if it was cold So I figured this would be cute for water or I could put like those little um, Shake packets and make it like lemonade or I could put um, Brew some tea and make iced tea and put it in here. So I thought that this was a good deal for only a dollar So even if I don't use it the next thing that I got was this I love this so this is white the inside is gold and this is a, a pillar candle holder, and this is from the, yep, the, from the Threshold brand, and it's just so cute. It's got like a diamond punch out pattern, so when the candle's in there, it's like it just is really pretty. And um, this was also on clearance. This was five dollars, so that was a good deal. Um, as you can tell, I'm a clearance shopper, <laughs> um, but I thought this would look so cute in my room, and it just kind of goes with the theme of white and gold that I really love. So I grabbed that. Okay, and then the next things from Target are some notepads from their dollar spot section. So the first one that I grabbed is this one. Um, this one is really cute. It's a wider one, and it just says notes, and it's got a cute little flower print on it. And this will probably go on our fridge um, so that we can leave notes to each other on it. And then the second one that I got was this one. And it's just um, got a cute blue pattern. And this is a longer, skinnier one. And I have a bunch of these. And these are the ones that I typically use um, in my room to write my to-do lists on. So this one will go in my room. And this one will go on the fridge. So that was all the stuff I got from Target. So now I'm going to show you what I got from Ikea. So the first thing I got from Ikea is um, these dish towels. I thought these were so cute. So it comes in a two-pack. And the first one is um, just this floral pattern. So it's got these really pretty pink roses. And then this just kind of like vintage -y design on it. And I love this. And then the second one is just a checkered white and pink one and I just love these these are so cute um, I think these were somewhere around 
four or five dollars I don't quite remember but they were a good deal so I grabbed these because the ones that we have currently are pretty gross and we were in need of some new ones even though I don't want to get these dirty because they're so cute so I grabbed those the next thing that I got was a rug and it's just kind of like a like a floor like an entrance mat maybe or like in the kitchen um, I'm not sure exactly where it's gonna go but it's just this uh, woven um, kind of off-white and pink stripes and it's got some tassels a pretty decent size for the price it was um, I think four dollars so I grabbed that I thought this was really cute and I think that it'll probably go in the kitchen um, just because I think it would look cute with the dish towels with the pink theme so I grabbed this so I just got this blue pasta dish this was, um, I think, $1.50, and it's like a ceramic. Um, my dishes currently are like the plasticky kind you have, and they're Disney, and I love them, but um, they don't go up very much on the sides, so if some of the foods, I feel like, will fall off, and so, especially pastas, so I just got this pasta dish specifically for that reason, um, because I love pastas, and the pasta can actually stay in the plate, <laughs> so... Um, I got it in the blue because I really like this color. If they had a pink, I would have gotten pink, but they didn't have any pink. So I got it in the blue. And um, my roommate has some of these, and I've used them before, and they're really great. So I had to grab one for myself. So I got that. And then the next thing that I got from Ikea is actually the last thing is just a candle. Um, this is the orange um, scented one. And... It just, it smells like orange, and I love this. I love citrusy flavors. Um, I just think they smell like clean. So I think this is like a good scent for in the kitchen. And I think this was around $2, so good deal. So actually, I had one more thing from Ikea. Um, I forgot about this because it was from a separate trip from the other stuff. So this last thing is just a, um, uh, what is this called? It's like a magazine holder, um, and it's in this blue color. Um, and it's got like the metal hardware and um, this was on clearance it was sold as is it was 50 cents um, and it's 50 cents because it's got like these scratches on it and I don't really care um, I'm gonna use it for um, my notebooks I normally have them lying in a stack um, like horizontal on my desk and I think that using this to put all my notebooks in will save so much space on my desk. My plan is to spray paint this white, the whole thing, and then use like a gold sharpie to um, detail the metal bits. Um, but if I get around to doing that, who knows? So, but that's the plan for this. So the next thing that I got is from Marshalls, and I just got one thing so far. And it was a pot holder it is a kind of like tiffany blue um, a light blue color and it's silicone and it is um what does it say it's 500 degrees heat resistant um and it's got a packet and this was on clearance for three dollars so i had to pick this up because again like our dish towels our pot holders are getting kind of gross and i thought this was really cute and um, I just like the pink and blue kind of theme together, so I grabbed this um, for just three bucks at Marshall's. Okay, I'm trying to decide what to pick next. I think I'm going to go into some Disney things. So the first thing that I got from the Disney store for my apartment is a new mug. I already have like a million Disney mugs because if you have one Disney mug then you start getting addicted and you have to buy a million Disney mugs. That's just how it goes. So the, this Disney mug is a Bambi mug and I just thought this mug was so cute. Um, I don't have a Bambi one yet. Um, it's just got Bambi and Thumper and Flower and it just, just looks so classic and I don't know I just love this. So I grabbed this mug and um, then maybe you saw this but this isn't any apartment thing but I grab a lot of almost every time I walk into a Disney store which isn't often because I don't have one near me um, I have to pick up a little Tsum Tsum so I got Winnie the Pooh this time so just thought I'd show you that the next Disney thing is probably my favorite piece that I've picked up I am obsessed with this okay so it's their chalkboard pillow 
So one side is black and then the other side is white and I just thought this was so cute. So it says a whole bunch of different little things. It says like believe, it says oh, believe in magic and then it says be our guest and um, what else does it say? Happiest place on earth with the castle. So just so cute and then never grow up of course which is like my saying because I never want to grow up. <laughs> I just thought this was so cute and it's so like oh it's so squishy. It's so nice. I am obsessed with this. It's just really nice quality and it's just gorgeous. It's got all the great sayings on it so this was just a great steal. I think I got it so with the discount I think I paid like 20 bucks for this or something like that so I thought this was a great deal for a throw pillow that is Disney so love this. The next Disney thing I got for my apartment um, was actually from the thrift store. These are from Salvation Army and they are just two glasses so I got these glasses. So this glass um, I've actually have this one already. Well I don't have this one. My parents have this one so I've seen this one before. But um, it was two for two dollars, so I bought them as the set. Um, I have two Disney glasses, kind of like with this like theme, where they have just a, like the artwork around it um, already, and um, I have those at my apartment. So now I'm gonna have four. Um, so this one is just like Mickey and the Epcot ball, um, and then just a bunch of like the Epcot um, things on it so this is from the 25th anniversary I don't know if you can see it says 25 in there so this is from this is a 25th anniversary glass this one though I have not seen this one before so this one was really cute I love the colors it's like a pink and green theme so this is also a 25th anniversary glass um, this is um, the castle and then it's also got Donald on it with the Mickey balloons and then Spaceship Earth is there and so I thought this was so cute I love the colors um, and so I grabbed these for my kitchen I think this is the last thrifted item that I grabbed so I'll show that so I got this um, like mason jar glass that has the handle and then it also has a chalkboard on it. I thought this was super cute. I don't have any mason jar. I mean, I have a million mason jars, but I don't use them to drink out of. So I thought with the handle, it was really cute. So I grabbed this for, I think this was 50 cents. So I thought this was a great deal. So I got this from Salvation Army. Now, the next two things are a combination of thrifting and DIYs. So they are some picture frames with some wall art in them. And these are going to go on my gallery wall. And if you saw my DIY video, you already saw these. So I won't go into um, a lot of detail um, because you can just watch that video. So this is the first one. And then this was the second one. And both of these are in my previous video, the DIY. So if you want to see how I did this, go ahead and check that video out. Okay. The next thing is also a DIY that I did, um, so if you want to see how I made this, then please check that video out again. So this is just a uh, one of those like kind of organizational trays. It's a gold um, organizational tray with white and gold inside pattern. And I made this, and I love this. This is probably going to go on my desk. So if you want to see how I made this, please check that video out. I will leave a link in the doobly-doo. The next thing is from the Dollar Tree, um, it's just a candle, so this is kind of like comparative to the Glade candles. Um, this is their Air Fresh brands and this is Apple Cinnamon. This was $1 at the Dollar Tree, so gotta love Dollar Tree candles because normally these things are like 5 bucks and upwards. So get your candles from the Dollar Tree. Okay, then the next thing um, I got was from... Bath and Body Works. So I just got a couple things that are semi-annual sale. The first is a candle and it's the mason jar kind of looking candle and this is the vanilla bean marshmallow and then it looks like that and this I think I got for maybe four or five dollars uh, maybe six dollars um, on their during their sale and it just smells like like vanilla-y but also a little sugary. Oh my gosh I love this scent. 
Next, also from Bath & Body Works, um, was a soap. I think I got this for like three bucks because it was on there, 75% off. And this was the um, Watermelon Lemonade scent. And this smells really good. And I like getting their foaming soap because I don't, it's not that I like the foam, but their soap that is with the antibacterial beads, those beads are really bad for the environment and they're especially bad for um, the Great Lakes, which is the area that I'm from, Michigan. So I never buy those. They're just, and you shouldn't either, don't buy them. They're not good for the environment. So I try to pick up their um, foaming soaps instead. Okay guys, we are getting near the end finally. So the next things are from Urban Outfitters and I did haul these in my Urban Outfitters haul. So I'm not going to go into great detail about them, but I'll just show you both of them really quickly because they are going for my new apartment. So I just got this um, jar, this jar, this um, cup, and it's just a um, like a mason jar kind of looking cup with the lid. Um, and it's really cute. It's pink. This I got for $2.50 at their summer sale. And then the next thing from Urban Outfitters was this um, tea cup, and it says more whiskey please thought this was really cute so this was $2.50 at Urban Outfitters as well. If you want to see the rest of the stuff that I got in Urban Outfitters, I did get a bunch at their sale, check out that video. Um, I will leave a link in the doobly-doo. Almost done, just a few more things. So this next thing I got um, at a sidewalk sale in my town. So I got this for $0.25. Cents. So it was this teapot and it's super cute. So it's like um, a shiny black and then a matted gray and or silver gray kind of silver and this was 25 cents because the lid is missing so you can't really use it to brew tea in but I figure either I'll find just a simple black lid like online or something which shouldn't be too hard to find or I will use this to put flowers in which I think would be really cute to put like a little potted plant in here so either way for a quarter I just couldn't let this go so I grabbed that and then the last thing that I have to show you guys is actually a gift from a bridal shower, but it's going in my apartment. These are so great. These were hand-knitted dish towels. These are so pretty. I don't even want to use them for dishes, but <laughs> they're so pretty. So it's like a pretty blue and coral and then white, and then the flower is the blue and coral, and it's just so pretty. I love these, and I think these colors are great for a kitchen, and I just love how they're handmade and just really cute. So... Um, I have these for my kitchen now. So that was everything that I had um, picked up in these last couple months for my new apartment. So I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment what you liked. So if you would like to see an updated apartment tour, go ahead and leave me a comment. And once the time comes around, I will probably do that for you guys. Alright, so then I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye! But I have been obsessed with anything gold lately, so these are some gold-themed DIYs that are 